It's time for another ballistics gel test. Today we're shooting 270 Winchester Federal Premium Terminal Ascent 136 grain. And here is the box right here. Very good looking box. Got a cool big horn sheep on there. Let's flip it around. Here is all of your promo information, your ballistics info. You can pause and read that if you like. But I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so we can take a look at the rounds themselves. And per standard with Federal, comes with this plastic ammo holder with these belt loops that I don't think anyone ever uses. And that might not be what that is. I actually don't know, whatever. Here's the rounds, nickel plated brass, some sort of plated bullet, ballistic tip. This is supposed to be really good stuff. Everyone who has shot Federal Terminal Ascent seems to love it, so I'm very excited to try this. And the test rifle today is gonna to be my Winchester Model 70 Featherweight, chambered in 270, of course. It's got a 22 inch barrel. Up top, I've got a Swarovski Z3, three to 10 by 42. And bringing up the rear, of course, I've got one of my Mason leather cartridge cuffs. I've got 270 stamped right in. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. And I have got to show you, coming around to the other side, I've got my white-tailed deer design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that federal premium terminal ascent from the 270. We managed to capture two bullets. We got one right there and right there. This particular load is has quite a different point of impact than what I have my rifle zeroed for. So one of the rounds uh, slipped out of the block, but we got two. And as far as penetration goes, it looks like we got about 26 and a half inches and 29 We'll call it 29 and a quarter inches. That is phenomenal penetration from a higher velocity cartridge like the 270 and an expanding bullet. That is really good. And let's take a look at the velocities for that Federal Premium Terminal Ascent out of the 270. Our high was 28.86, our low was 2830, and our average was 2,863 feet per second. And here we're looking at those Federal Premium Terminal Ascent 136 grain bullets as pulled from the ballistics gel. Let's talk about weight retention. So respectively, we saw 131 and 135 grains for an average of 133 grains of weight retention. That works out to 98% weight retention. Hey, if nothing else, these bullets retain their weight. I think whatever Federal is doing to make these bullets or wherever they're getting them from, these, I mean, this is good stuff. And now we'll talk about expansion. We saw 0.57 inches and 0.63 inches for an average of 0.6 inches of overall expanded diameter. And that works out to 2.2x expansion, which is right there just above my benchmark of 2x that I like to see for a standard caliber medium game hunting bullet. And now we'll talk about velocity. Our high velocity was 2,886 feet per second. Our low was 2,830 feet per second for an average of 2,863 feet per second versus the factory build velocity of 300 feet per second. So we did come in on average a little bit slow, 137 feet per second slow to be precise. I wish we would have seen that gap a little bit closer, but it is what it is. And honestly, y'all, velocity is the lowest thing on my list as far as choosing a hunting ammo. Now we'll talk about penetration. So this bullet had the weight retention, it had good expansion, and guess what? It had phenomenal penetration, especially for a light for caliber 270 bullet. Respectively, we saw 26 and a half inches and 29 and a quarter inches of penetration for an average of 27 and 7 eighths inches. 
this stuff really blows a lot of other bullets out of the water as far as penetration goes. This is one of the first 270 Winchester ammo loads that I have tested. So time will tell who knows what sort of average 270 penetration is going to wind up being. But as far as everything else I've tested so far, 6.5 Creedmoor, 30-06, 45-70, 30, 30, 30 this is really, really good. Final thoughts on that Federal Premium Terminal Ascent 136 screen load out of the 270 Winchester. This load did pretty good, except in one area which we're going to talk about. So weight retention was great, 98% weight retention. Whatever Federal is doing to build their bullets works, keep doing it. Penetration wise, we also had stellar penetration, almost 28 inches. That's kind of crazy considering it's a somewhat light for caliber bullet. Remember, you can get 150 grain 270 factory loads. This was only 136, but we saw extreme penetration. And I saved expansion for last because that's where I'm a little bit worried. So expansion wise, we saw 2.2x expansion, which in and of itself isn't bad. That's pretty good. It's over my 2x benchmark. The problem is that this particular ammo, Federal Terminal Ascent, is marketed as not only a long range, but an all range load. And 2.2x might be great at 100 yards, but if you're only getting that much expansion at 100 yards, what are you gonna see at 400, 500, 600? A lot of guys are hunting that far these days, whether you agree with it or not, this bullet wouldn't be expanding as much at those far distances because you're losing velocity. I would have liked to have seen something like 2.4x, 2.5x at 100 yards to make me feel more comfortable at taking a longer shot. I don't know, it's something to think about. And in the future, I do plan to do longer range ballistics gel tests, and this particular ammo, Terminal Ascent, will be on my list for that. I just don't know when I'm gonna be able to get to it logistically. That kind of thing is very difficult to do, but stay tuned, because we're gonna do it. If you've used this particular ammo hunting, let me and everybody else know down in the comments how it did. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.